Greetings, folks. This is Scott with the Game Audio Institute, and yet again, we are diving into scripting shorts and with a little bit of a twist because we're going to involve something that has been hitting the news quite a lot this, this last month or two, and that is the famous text based chat GPT. If you have not been living under a rock lately, um, <laughs> then you probably understand that this chat GPT thing has really blown up. People are using it to write all kinds of things from term papers to, you know, uh, legal uh, documents to passing the bar exam <laughs> and passing medical exams and things like this. Uh, it's definitely going to transform society in really interesting ways. Um, but one of the things that it can actually do is, yes, it can actually generate code for things like C Sharp. So actually it's one of the interesting kinds of things that when we're thinking about this as, you know, audio professionals, you know, there was probably a time, you know, in the past where somebody would be thinking, God, man, if I just knew how to program the thing that I want to do, then, you know, I could just ask for it, you know, somehow or another with like real, real text. And, um, well, you know, your wish is possibly about to come true. Um, now, the other thing is that, you know, right now, ChatGPT is in early stages, so it's not 100% perfect or anything like that. Uh, it can often make mistakes, but I'm about to basically just sort of go out, walk out in the type rope and see if it can actually do some cool stuff. Now, let's go check it out and see what's up. Now, where we last left everything off, we were talking about C-sharp coroutines, right? So we were using coroutines, and I was talking about how you could get the kinds of complex behaviors that you've seen in middleware from, uh, you know, uh, basically just simple scripting in C-sharp. Well, at this point, the question is, can you ask ChatGPT to write those simple scripts, those supposedly simple scripts for you? So... It all depends on how you describe things to ChatGPT, of course. Um, but we can try and see what we can come up with and uh, see if the results will be to our liking. And we don't know. We will have to see. So what I wanted to do, you know, what I kind of wanted to work towards as far as this uh, scripting short sort of idea was I wanted to be able to create something that would generate a bunch of sound effects with random... I wanted to play sound effects randomly after a random amount of time, basically, but use a waiting time for that, right? So in other words, a coroutine that would basically do this sort of thing. So I'm going to see what ChatGPT will actually be able to generate for me if I do this. So I'm going to write in this little space over here on the left-hand side. Here we go. Randomly play. Oh, sorry. An audio clip from an array of audio clips at a random range of delay from five to 15 seconds. Um, yeah, let's see this, if we can do this. So then we're gonna hit the return key and see what ChatGPT will generate for us. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. It looks like we've got a audio clip list called audio clips. We have the audio source, audio source. It's making the audio source private. We can make the audio source public if we want to. It's basically just finding the local audio source on the object itself, which is just a you know fairly normal kind of things to do. Start coroutine, play audio. So it starts the coroutine, play audio. Uh, play audio then just basically keeps this going. Now here's the thing. There is a thing where it says while true, and this is maybe a little bit, you know, basically what it does is that just means that it just stays on all the time because it will never be false, uh, um, you know, at this point in time. But what you can do is you could put something else in this point where you could turn it on and turn it off. Right now, it's just going to play on awake or start and it's just going to keep on going. But here, let's just check this out here. Int clip index equals random dot range zero dot audio clip slot length. We've already seen this before if you've been watching the scripting shorts, right? Float delay, random range, 5F, 15F. And you could set this to whatever range you would want. Yield return, new wait for seconds delay. Then audio shorts, play one shot, audio clips, clip index. So there you go. You know, you don't even need me. 
you can just go to Chat GPT, and if you know how to to type what you want, you can actually get Chat GPT to make this for you. Let's just see if this actually works. So, what we wanted to have was this little thing. This this has a bunch of stuff on it, a uh, bunch of clips, and uh, it has the sound list and the list play trigger and that sort of stuff. So we're gonna duplicate this, but then not really do anything with it. It's just gonna sort of exist. Um, but this is a very complex, a very common sort of situation. Um, oop, hang on one second. Undo. Command duplicate. There we go. And this one's really not going to be a trigger. We're not going to run into it or do anything like that. Not yet, so far. Not yet, so far. But um, I'll put it over here. Probably won't matter at the moment. I'm just going to make it a 2D sound so you can just sort of hear that it's running uh, rather than doing it as a, a 3D sound. But we could we could obviously do it if we want to do it like that. I'm going to take out the list play trigger from this object because we don't need it. Um, we do have an audio source, so we're good there. All right, so let's add our component. Our component is going to be our new script. What are we going to call this? We're going to say play sound play clips. Let me think about this. Play clip random delay. I always type delay. Um, so delay. There we go. Right, play clip random delay. Boink. So now that's going to go and get there. And now we want to edit this and we can paste what we got from, there we go, play clip random delay. So we're going to paste what we got from there and it is going to be called play clip random delay. So I'm going to probably stick it inside here and we'll have to do a little bit of editing to make sure that it will actually work well, but you know, good enough. So then here we go here. Play clip random delay. Uh, we can probably call this entirely. We just need to make sure that it's right on the money and it has all the different things that we need. And we don't need this, I don't think. I think that'll actually take us out and we'll be in good shape and it'll probably compile. Let's just see what happens. Save that. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Looks like it needs a list of audio clips. As we know, we can basically hit that little freezing button up in the right-hand corner right there, and then we can go and drag a bunch of our sounds, which we have a few things, hack sounds, all of our different hack sounds. So we'll grab that whole thing, and it'll just go off by itself, basically. That's the whole point. So we'll put that in there, list is empty. Ooh, I think we have to drag it a little higher, actually. Yep, that's it right there. So that's going to basically give us our list of clips. And we need to make sure that we have an audio source, which we do have. We're probably fine on that front. Um, don't have to worry about this other grid material here. Um, yeah, so I think that should do us. We do want to probably make a 2D, which we are. And that should, well, I think that should basically work. So let's go check this out. So what it's going to do is it's going to randomly play one of those beep sounds every so often by itself. So, there you go. So I probably should have given it a much, a much, much uh, more substantially uh, smaller window. We can do that, that's pretty easy. Let's do that. Let's go say we're gonna make it between one and five seconds. Okay, one and five seconds. That's a little too, so the thing, the reason why I'm kind of going this route is because this is one of the ways that you can create complex ambiences. So this is a fairly common situation where you might have, let's say, a loop that's just going on and on and on, like kind of a drone loop that's just like a, a thing that just happens as a background, as a pad. And then you have these other things that play over the top of it every so often, okay? And that's what I'm basically doing is the every so often stuff. But this is the kind of behaviors that you would totally get from Wise or FMOD automatically. And... Um, It's, yeah, so anyway, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> so you get it, right? All right. <laughs> so I think that's a pretty good example of... Uh, of how that you can actually use ChatGPT. We have this very brief example. We're going to probably do a lot more and see what ChatGPT is capable of doing. But this is an example of some pretty powerful stuff in action. 
you could even make a case that in some respects you might not necessarily need middleware because you could just simply tell ChatGPT to do something. Now, I have to say that right now, at this point in time, it only works when you're doing text, which means that you can't use it in something like Unreal because Unreal is more commonly, you know, a sound designer is more likely to be using blueprints than they are going to be programming directly in C++. And right now there is not yet a interface to go from ChatGPT to blueprints. But um, anyway, that's basically all for now. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, we're gonna be back with, I'm sure, more of this because that was super easy. That was just ridiculously easy to do and it works perfectly fine. Um, and you know we can analyze the script and stuff like that afterwards, but you can see that basically it is working. Sometimes ChatGPT will spit out something that does not work or does not work in quite the right way per se, okay? So, uh, but if you have any suggestions about what you'd like me to tell ChatGPT to do um, and make some cool audio things happen, let me know. I would be interested to know what you might be wanting to see, see happen and see what ChatGPT is capable of. So, uh, yeah. And also we have lots of other videos coming up. Uh, we gotta, we got to have a, a music analysis video um, uh, for uh, Tetris Effect coming up really, really soon. Um, obviously, if you want to have access to these scripts that are being <laughs> generated automatically by ChatGPT, um, you can subscribe to our Patreon and you can get that for the $6 an hour, uh, $6 uh, level, whatever. But anyway, I hope this helps you get your game audio on, and we will see you at the next one. Bye!